Welcome back. Today we're celebrating Earth Month with simple, sustainable meals. Something our next guest is so passionate about, she's dedicated an entire cookbook to the subject. So here with recipes from Good Food, Healthy Planet, is food advocate Punita Chitvalvarma. Welcome back to the show, Punita. Thank you for having me back. I want to say a big exciting. congratulations because this is your first cookbook. It Congrats. is. Yes. 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 Decide to break this down for all of us. I kept it simple because that is a big thing, right? With all the doom and gloom, it can get overwhelming. And so I kept it as simple, practical, sustainable. It's literally in the name. Love it. Well, you have a framework called Eating with Benefits, which I love. <laughs> uh, they give simple pr pr uh, principles to follow if we want to cook food that's good for ourselves and the planet. Mm -hmm. And you start with this idea that pulses are perfect. Explain that. Perfect 100. If there was a test, pulses would get the 100. Okay. Mm. Because eating with benefits, and yes, cheeky name, right? Yes. Um, is five principles, guiding principles, um, that we can use to set our table. And the first one is pulses are perfect because we, you know, pulses are one of those crops that are like easy to grow. And, like just like yes. people don't yes. know. Yes, like yes, lentils, exactly. Legumes. Legumes. Beans, lentils, yellow, green. There's a rainbow of lentils out there. Yep. Some of them take under 30 minutes to cook, so they're really great. I've cooked um, a uh, a dish that I absolutely love that I that my mom used to cook when I was growing up. So it smells amazing, and uh, it's mixed with French green lentils, and they're easy to grow, easy on the planet, and in a time when we're future proofing our water and soil resources, it's so important to choose ingredients mm -hmm. that mm. will check those boxes. Tell us, tell us about this first dish and what pulse did you use? So this is French green lentils cooked down mm. with acorn squash. Mm -hmm. I love acorn squash. You can use delicata too when it comes around to be seasoned for delicata because both of these squashes you can cook with the skin on. Oh right? my gosh. And so this is less skin work, on, reduces food waste. Wow. And it cooks Oh, together. it's so good. And I always remove the skin. So do I. It's beautiful. What a waste. Okay, we've yes. learned. And so much work, right? Let's so keep it work. simple. Keep it simple. Love mm -hmm. that. And you're, that's the whole thing, is reducing what we throw away. And one thing that you never let to go to waste is also your Rime. watermelon rinds. Yes. In Wait a second. And you use them in a curry? I do. What in the world? It's delicious. <laughs> Cross my heart. Okay, it's how'd delicious. you do that? So watermelon rinds come summer. Eventually, the sun will come out. It will be summer. And... Watermelon rind, eat the pink, juicy, sweet stuff, and then what you have left, peel off the this green. This is what this is, okay. So this yeah, you, is what it is. So it's just the white part, it's not the green part. No, it's not the green part. Okay. You peel away because it grows on the soil, so it's often uh, collected a lot of contaminants. So you wash okay. away, peel the green, mm. and then you've got the white and the pale pink because, right, we slice yes. it up. It's delicious. Okay. Add some tofu to it. It's a full meal right now. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful soup. Mellow, aromatic, because all of this works if we can make it work in our real lives. Yes. With real ingredients. It's got mm -hmm. a bit of a kick to it too. So what are some tips you have for helping us reduce what we yeah. throw away? You've given some great ones here, but what else? Um, well, buy what you need, mm -hmm. um, because that's a big one, right? Because it's not just about the tomatoes that end up in the bin. It's also what goes into behind the scenes, mm -hmm. to use a phrase that we use on TV, right? Yes. Um, harvesting, storing, distribution, all of that goes into, um, well, greenhouse gas emissions. Yep. And reducing food waste is something that we can uh, correct as we make our choices every day, making dinner today, when you're looking at the broccoli, use the stems. Yes, love it. That's love extra. It. So the yes. next principle you follow is to move away from heat. So how mm. is this bolognese sauce? Uh, move away from meat, sorry, not heat. Move away from meat. <laughs> Thinking we can keep I love meat. my green chilies. So let's go <laughs> and move away from this. So you've got a sauce here and talk about it. Normally, I think a bolognese sauce, of course, is all about meat. Yes, it is. So in here, we've uh, swapped out half the meat. So that's my first, another first tip in the meat section that you'll see in the book mm. is swap out half the meat mm, half in the meat. all okay. of your recipes. So this is, again, this is brown lentils that have the same cooking time as, uh, as the meat. Cook it down with ginger, turmeric, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and it cooks together, comes together, and you would never know you would with never the texture. Know. It's delicious. Right? It's yes. beautiful. It really is. Yep. Yes, you and we've, we've downsized. Yeah. 
and we've downsized our greenhouse gas emissions. Yeah, I love it. Wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. It's really easy to do. So you say the next step forward is to also for us to diversify our diets, mm -hmm. which is interesting. So you have brought us a street style egg masala fry that you say is a great dish, especially if we are um, looking to try something new. So tell us about it. So the street style egg masala is boiled eggs with um, onions and spices, the recipe of course in Good Food Healthy Planet, right? And uh, it's delicious because it's the diversity, uh, adding something different is something that is mm. now proven with research. Climate scientists and medical research is telling us the better, the, the richer the variety of food we eat, yeah. the better we feel, mm -hmm. the better our gut feels, and the better our planet is because it supports the biodiversity loss that we are facing right now. So, so yeah. something as simple as adding a new herb spice. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's Love wonderful. That. This is yes. delicious. So what about, you also suggest um, using fat when cooking uh, veggies and legumes to enhance their flavor. Why is that something you recommend? Um, I recommend it because planet forward, plant forward foods have less fat. So meats and even eggs, they have a lot of mm -hmm. fat, right? So add in that add tablespoon in. of fat, mm -hmm. um, ghee, olive oil, that let it cook really down, good. and oh it gosh. really makes mm -hmm. the flavors shine. So beautiful, um, every single one of these dishes, so good. So delicious, it sounds like really accessible as well. Panita, thank you so much for bringing all of these to us. Healthy Planet is available now. Wait for it, because studio audience, you're going home with your copy today! So nice. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.